Hello again, this is me, Dan, talking about some of my action. First off, I've got Once Upon a Time in Mexico. You, you, if you're watching this for the first time, you wouldn't know this is a sequel to, um, oh, what's it called now? Oh, I forgot. But it's a sequel of three, and it's a third of three. But if you're watching it for the first time, you wouldn't know that. Uh, people who star in this, Antonio Banderas, um, Johnny Depp, and Selma Hayek. It's a good film, uh, good action, non-stop, well, non more or less non-stop action about, uh, like, um, Antonio Banderas is working for Johnny Depp and he's doing a job to hunt down this man and it's in, it's like a legend happening. Moving on. Uh, sh shoot him up. I got this film quite a long time ago. It's a, it's a good film. Five stars from the sun, four stars from the empire. Here's a comment from the sun. Wow, awesome. And comments from Empire. 100 miles an hour blast. It's a good film, a classic shooting film. Real good. It's got a bit of story as well. That's that. That's why I like this film. It's a good film, and I recommend it if you haven't seen it before. Next, Equilibrium. This is a bit. It's a bit like Matrix, but not too much, but a bit. It's two men, one battle, no compromise. Christian Bale and Ty Diggs. Here's a comment from the makers of Minority Report and Speed. Delivers more bang per book than any movie has for years. The Matrix meets 1984. The fight scenes are delirious. It's a good film, classic, a bit complicated, but still a good film. That doesn't slow it down. Next. Die Hard 4. I got this very recently, a couple of days ago. It's a pure kick-ass film. Wicked, non-stop action scenes. A real good film. Bruce Willis does an absolutely outstanding job in this. One of my favourite films. Five stars. Wicked film. I highly re recommend this. Next, I've got the Triple X collection. Uh, number one is miles better than number two. But number two doesn't let it down. This is number one. I think Vin Diesel does an excellent job in this. Real good film. Non-stop action. Good story to it. It's got a purpose. You know what I mean? Good film. And then number two. It's good. Ice Cube does quite a good job in this, but it just can't, it can't compete with number one. Just can't. It's um, they're both one disc, but they're just they're both wicked actions. Number two has a comment. The best action film of the year. I'd probably disagree with that because. It's just, it's not as good as number one. They're, they're just wicked, especially number one. Number one, I highly recommend if you don't, if you haven't seen it. All right, one second. Next, I Am Legend. I really do like this film. Good film, two discs, special edition. Good, it's a, it's a good film. He's um, he's the last person on earth because. People think they've killed, well, the last that we know of. Um, people, this lady thinks she's cured cancer, but really she's only cured it for a short amount of time. And um, it's after after a while, they start to get mutated, mutated. And um, he's trying to, uh, Will Smith's trying to find a cure. He does a good job in this. A good action, kind of sci-fi-ish. It's a good thriller as well. It's a good film. Next. Reservoir Dogs. I have not seen this, but if you read here, four perfect killers, one perfect crime. Now all they have to fear is each other. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Next, one of my favourites, Hard Boiled. Very, very good film. Highly recommend it. Uh, look, listen to it. Five star. More exciting than a dozen diehards. The most violent, gun crazy action flick you'll ever see. Gobsmacking mayhem. Hold on to your seats. Fast, furious, and very violent. This is a kick-ass film, packed with action. Every scene has action, but the good thing is it's not just action all the way. It's got a bit of story, special, real good film. This is. Next, Lethal Weapon 4. This is good. No one near as good as the first ones, but it's still a good film. That They all do a good part in this, um, and I like the fight scene at the end with Jet Li. It's a good film. 
talk. Ice Cube does a very good role in this, and so does Nathan, um, or oh, Nathan and Steven Stewart, and they both do good roles. Good film, good motorbike film, good action, good film. Rollable, have not seen this, expecting high stuff. You might know LL Cool J, he's in this, I'm expecting. Condemned. Good, a very good film. Good. Steve Austin does a real good job in this. Um, it's, it's basically um, ten people are like bat, who are all badasses. Get um on this island for like a TV sh well, a show on the computer for loads of money. Like, and if they win, they get like ten thousand dollars and stuff like that. And um, it's a real, real good action film. Steve Austin and Vinnie Jones are in this. I'd write this uh, four stars. Real good film. Uh, if you haven't seen this, I recommend it. I didn't think it'd be as good as it was before I seen it, but you know, it really changed my mind. Next, the corrupter. Haven't seen this. Good. I'm expecting good. Look at the back. Looks a good film. Good action. Chow Yun Fat's in this. Same person from um, Hard Boiled. Good actor. And Mark. Will work. Same person from the Bourne films. Here's some comments. You can't play by the rules when there ain't any. It's a sizzler, sleek and smooth. Edge of your seat, high octane ride. Good. I'm expecting from this. Next war. Haven't seen this yet. I don't think it'll be as good as some others. I think it'll be all right, but nothing special. Next. Bad Boys 1 and Bad Boys 2. I'd put, they're about equal, the films. Both Martin Lawrence and Will Smith are excellent in these films. Highly recommend them. Very good action. Good um, good story. Number 2 is about drug dealers. And I think number 1 is slightly as well. They're very good films. I really do like these films. Uh, I highly recommend them for Yanks and them. Good films and classy song. And last. That that's not an action. Alright, that's it for now, folks. I will see you next time. Bye bye.